Hello again from Elation Productions. As promised in previous videos, uh, here is my new laser cutter, which I told you I would show you. This is a Boss Laser LS1630, and as a model designation would indicate, this machine has 16 inches of travel along the y-axis, actually slightly less, and 30 or slightly th less than 30 inches of travel along the x-axis. And today I'm going to give you just a real brief demonstration of how the machine works, but in future videos you can bet I'm going to continue to show you uh, this machine doing different things and continue to expand upon uh, the specifics of what it actually takes from coming up with an idea to actually making it uh, become reality in this machine. Now first off, um, I'm going to show you here, I have a sheet of gray foam which I'm going to cut out some foam body washers which I've been successfully selling on eBay for RC cars. So I've got the foam already lined up and in there and usually I'll pull it out because it's cold outside but I have my ventilation fan stuck in the window well at the moment and that's going to take all the smoke and such and blow it outside. So that's all set to go. I'll turn the key on here and that'll start the machine up and it'll go through its initial setup procedures of calibrating. And they were all set at our last origin point. And we also need to have the chiller running too. This particular model came with a CW3000 unit, however I decided to upgrade to a 5200, which is probably overkill considering this uh, cooler has been rated for dual 100 watt tubes, and all I have in this machine was the upgraded 100 watt, which is the largest one that was available from Boss Laser. I'll show you the tube real quick here in the back. There's the 100 watt tube in this unit. And you might be able to hear the chillers kicking in. CW3000 unit is just a ambient air radiator of sorts, whereas this unit is actually capable of chilling the uh, cooling water below room temperature. You can also see I got in the back here, this is just a cheapy, that little gold unit is just a cheapy um, diaphragm type air compressor. That's going to be what's going to blow at the nozzle on the machine. Now that's all set to go there. Got those two both turned on. And it's hard to see the screen here. And this doesn't always work real well. It doesn't like big programs. But I've got the program in here already for cutting my body washers. And that's all set to go. And what I can do if I want to check to make sure that it's going to fit onto my piece, I will just hit the origin button right here and we'll run through once more. I'm sorry, hit the frame button and we'll run through once more to frame up the piece. And you can see we're well within the boundaries of this sheet of foam. So that's all set to go. I'll close the hood up here and I have both the ventilation fan and the compressor hooked up to this power strip which I'll turn on here and they'll both engage and here the ventilation fan is pulling out quite a bit of air and I will begin I hit the start button we'll be all set to go
there you have it. We have uh, 44 body washers cut out in oh, about a minute or so. Very efficient way of doing that. All perfectly cut out. Anyway, um, that's just a sample of what the machine's capable of doing. You can expect a lot more to come in the future. Different projects, different materials, all, all sorts of things that this machine will do. And I'll continue to show you what I can do and what I learn to do in the future with this machine. Uh, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching and until next time.